Uh, basically, I found a small out of bounds thing um, that makes things a little bit quicker in Shrine of the Sea God. I think it saves like 10 seconds, um, but that's subject to encounter luck and stuff like that. So basically, after using Lash here, you save the kids. And we know that running here using Retreat um, is one second faster than running across the Lash. That, that, uh, running across the rope, sorry. We, that, that's, a, that's a thing that's no, known and well documented. Um, it turns out that if you have, to, if you're in a position to do that, um, you should be doing that because afterwards you can use retreat here and get out of bounds here. So again, this is also known. We know we can get out of bounds here. It's like very, very well known because you just kind of run up and then, well, no, sorry, you don't just run up. What am I talking about? You run slightly left and up, and then you just kind of end up here, which is kind of convenient. Turns out that you can actually skip to a little bit later on in the dungeon uh, and skip some annoying cutscenes. So let's go over what it does and then we'll show you what it's actually skipping. So we need to get here, so that's easy enough. So there's this small color blackout on the wall here, so this kind of thing right here. That's kind of like my mark, so I run up and hold up left once I hit that. After a small amount of time I'm going to get stuck. Where is it? No, I didn't get stuck. I got stuck in the wrong place. After the black thing. I did a little bit too quick. This is a... Ironically, this is a glitch where it's more convenient to be a little bit higher than a little bit lower. A little bit lower doesn't work in both bits. So anyway, I got stuck. We can time this out and work out how long we need to run for and all that kind of stuff. Or maybe we can come up with an audio cue or something like that. Here is the only little tricky thing about this. You just need to go slightly right, slightly right, um, up a little bit, and then hold left. And we're here! Isn't that awesome? And then you just kind of complete this as normal, so you run down here. Do the gin thing, yada yada yada. So why would we bother doing this? Because it doesn't, obviously doesn't save much time. The point is that this Jin here is going to do his silly little cutscene thing. So if I um, find an out of bounds door somewhere, there we go. What it's saving is you run over here. This is fine, by the way. Ugh, falling down takes time. Ugh, Jin takes time. Climbing a ladder takes time. Oh my god, the gin's moving again. It takes time. And then all the rest of this to get down here. So obviously, if you just do this instead, it's going to be way, 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 way faster. If done optimally, that is. And I missed it again. Jesus Christ. Oh, well, you can recover it, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, so that's a small little time save in Shrine of the Sea God. It saves only about 10 seconds, but hey, it's good to know. 